And we got the 53-man roster. There's some interesting cuts in this bad boy with the players not making the roster and interesting players who made the roster. That's what this video is all about, breaking it all down. But before we get into today's video, if you think it's a smart and sound idea to go swinging with the noose and have the noose around your neck, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we talk all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. Sometimes being a Lions fan, you can feel like you get strangled. Also, take that like button with you, wrap it up in the noose, and let that bad boy hang. Let's get into today's Lions 53. Let's go ahead and jump in first off to the injured list. These guys don't account for the them being on the roster. It's Greg Bell, Jason Cabinda, Jameson Williams, Romeo Aquara, Joshua Pascal, Jerry Jacobs. Nothing of interest to there regarding the players who are injured. And eventually, at some point, they'll come to the 53-man roster. And by the way, this is the roster right now. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be the final one. But that's what it is right now. Cuts. This is a giant list, so I'm going to just talk it to you for you. Released is Tim Boyle, Jared Davis, Devin Funches, Bruce Hector, Justin Jackson, Kendall Lamb, Dan Skipper. Justin Jackson is the noticeable one here. That really sucks. I thought he should make this roster, and he did not make this roster. Waved Maurice Alexander. Wish he did. That was the specialist, but he didn't. Cedric Boswell, Derek Deese, Obena Eze, Mark Gilbert, James Houston, our draft pick there. Godwin Igwebuke did not make it. Tom Kennedy, A.J. Parker, a surprise to most. Riley Patterson lost the kicking battle. Darren Paulo, Khalil Pimpleton, Anthony Pittman, and Zavion Smith. Those guys are not making the roster. Again, kind of stinks that uh, we're not getting our main guy, Jackson, in the building. Folks, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. I would love to get to 23,700. We're at 23,690 right now. 10 more subscribers will push us there. Hit that subscribe button. Let's start with the quarterbacks here. As you know, Tim Boyle was released, so we're going with Jared Goff and David Blau. I would not be shocked. If the Lions pick up a quarterback, a lot of quality quarterbacks out there that got released. Cooper Rush, Dallas Cowboys. We got Webb from the Giants. A lot of players the Lions could pick up at that quarterback position. So, just wait and see. But right now, Blau is the backup. Running back position, they went with four here. DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams, Craig Reynolds. The shocker is Jermar Jefferson. Why did the Lions keep Jamar Jefferson over others like Justin Jackson? That's beyond me. I felt like he didn't do enough to make this roster. Jamar Jefferson stays with the Lions. I think it's a mistake, but hey, I'm not the one in control. Let's go ahead and jump to the wide receivers really quick. Interesting, the Lions decided to only go five wide receivers. Shocking to me. I thought they'd go six. We got DJ Chark, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, and Quintez Cephas. Again, Jamison Williams will be placed on here when he's off the injury list. But the Lions are going five. It will be six, though, when Williams is back. Trinity Benson, not on this roster. Good. Tom Kennedy didn't make it as well. They're going five here, folks. But we're going with four tight ends here. We got TJ Hawkinson. Brock Wright, James Mitchell, and Shane Zilstra. He made it an impact for the Detroit Lions. Did it in preseason, and good for him. You know, having that reliable pass catcher as a tight end can help out in the long run. And when it comes to the Lions and James Mitchell, we weren't going to give up on a draft pick that quick. Yeah, so that is what we got going there from the tight end position. Let's go with the offensive line. The Detroit Lions decide to go two, three guards here, one center, three guards. That one, to me, was absolutely interesting from there. So Logan Stenberg, Tommy Kramer made the roster, both of them. Logan Stenberg was a high riser in preseason. I think that's what really did it for him. 
Matt Nelson is the backup tackle for the Lions. I would not be shocked if the Lions tried to claim another tackle because he was absolute booty cheeks in, you know, for the Lions in preseason. So they could decide to go another route at, at some point. You know, backup tackle, just keep your eye, eye on that. Don't really know if that will happen. I would kind of hope so with the issues that the Detroit Lions are having in the tackle position backup role. But Taylor Decker, Jonah Jackson, Frank Ragnar, Halapaluti, Vati Vaitai, Panay Sewell, all there. No problem at all for the offensive line. No questions, except for the Logan Stenberg one. That was, that was somewhat a question, but not really a big deal. Rate the Lions roster right now. 1 through 100. 1 being absolute cheeks. 100 being the best roster in the NFL. Rate me the roster. What do you guys think the Lions have for for roster compared to the rest of the NFL? Curious to see what you guys think. Let's go ahead and move on to the defensive line, the interior. We got Michael Brockers, Ali McNeil, Levi Anwuzurike, Isaiah Bugs, and Demetrius Taylor. Shout out to Roar Lines UK. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. That's Anthony there. He's been high on Demetrius Taylor, and Taylor did a really good job in preseason to jump on this roster. You know, I, I love it. I love having an undrafted guy coming out of nowhere, making this football team Make it an impact for the Detroit Lions. And it was him. He did it. Demetrius Taylor, shout out to you. We'll see if the Lions pick up Malcolm Brown after a certain amount of time. That's a possibility to add in this interior defensive line, the big guy. Uh, again, that could be an option for the Lions. Some of these guys you won't see going forward. But, hey, shout out to them. Let's go ahead and go to the edge rushers here. Aiden Hutchinson, Charles Harris, Austin Bryant, John Kaminsky. Julian Aquara makes the roster. And it seemed like it was going to be plausible when Dan Campbell said he should be ready for week one. Julian Aquara, though, you better stay healthy. Because if you get nicked up week one, you're a guy that should not be considered to be a lock throughout the whole season. But right now, he's good to go. I love how John Kaminsky made this roster. Showed out really well for the Lions in preseason. I think the Lions got a hell of a hell of a decent four edge rushers there. Really do. I love, I love Austin Bryant and John Kaminsky. Should be really good pass rush all the way around for the Lions. Better this year than last year. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Let's jump to the linebacker position. We got Alex Anzalone, Malcolm Rodriguez. They'll be our starters. Huge shout-out to Malcolm Rodriguez. Doing a great job in training camp, earning that spot. Derek Barnes showed well the last two preseason games. Good for him. Chris Board, he's going to be a special teams guy. Josh Woods make this linebacker list right now. I would not be shocked if the Lions picked up a linebacker in the waiver wires. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye for a potential new linebacker after waivers going forward. If I was Josh Woods, I would not be, you know, expecting I'm the guy all the way around. But shout out to him right now for making the initial 53-man roster. Let's jump to the cornerback's position. We got Amani Warrior 1, Jeffrey Okuda 2. Mike Hughes looks to be the, the nickel corner right now. Will Harris on this team as a backup. Chase Lucas, shout out to Chase Lucas. So happy he made the roster. Well deserved. The guy showed out in preseason. He got better every single game. Made this roster. And Bobby Price, a backup. Bobby Price, shout out to him. But he could be a guy they maybe switch up again for if you want to get different players from the waiver wire. Let's go to the safety position. We got Tracy Walker, Deshaun Elliott, Ifutu Malafonwu, and Kirby Joseph. Juju Hughes made this initial 53. He, again, is a guy the the back end of the roster. The Lions could pick up another player in waivers. This seemed to be 100% likely here. Not really anything shocking, except for the Juju Hughes. Interesting there. Let's go to special teams because they do matter. We got Jack Fox, Scott Daly, and Austin Siebert won the kicker job. It seemed 
that was inevitable after preseason week three that he was going to be the Lions kicker going forward. Nothing shocking there for the Lions in that. Hell of a 53-man roster. So let me know in the comment section right now, what was a shock to you regarding this 53? Mine's Justin Jackson. Damn it, I wanted him to make the roster over Jamar Jefferson. Look, I understand Jefferson, he had that big run in preseason game three. But Justin Jackson was doing good the whole time. I think that's a mistake. And I think Justin Jackson will get picked up by another team. We will not be able to put him on the practice squad. That's my personal opinion. He looks really good. Practice squad, we'll have to wait till we get that out. As soon as the practice squad information does come out, by the way, I will have that for you. It'll be interesting to see what the Lions do with the waiver wire. Quarterback, a lot of them out there available. Linebacker, some good linebackers available too to pick up. And I think backup offensive lineman is a possibility. Is a possibility, you know, regarding the tackle position. You know, I, I do like the depth that we got to guard, but those are positions I am looking for the Detroit Lions to upgrade here very very shortly. In the upcoming videos, we're going to be live on my channel on Thursday for sure. We got the One Pride podcast. That is a Thursday thing. We got videos dropping every single day, so get ready for that breaking news. We're going to do live watch parties on this channel. Everything Detroit Lions is here for you. With that said, folks, adios.